Welcome to Daily Rosary Meditations with Dr. Mike Scherslick, where you learn how to meditate and establish a daily habit of prayer while discovering the truths of the Catholic faith. Is there someone you know that could benefit from daily prayer? Share this meditation with them. Welcome to our Daily Rosary Meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Now, this is the third episode in our meditation on God's plan for marriage, family, and sexuality. When God made the human person, he made a microcosm, a kind of mini-universe. Everything God has made finds some representation in the human being. We are made body and soul. Our bodies are composed of the same basic materials as the planets, the stars, the rocks, the trees, and the beasts. Our soul feels the simple pains and pleasures of the lower animals, but our souls also include minds, like the angelic minds, that can grasp timeless supreme truths. And our free will is capable of loving one another, and especially of loving God himself. Because we human beings are the fusion of body and soul, we are the convergence point, the ultimate melting pot of all that God has made. But that requires a delicate balance, an integration in which we appreciate the connection between our bodies and souls and live according to that integration. And nowhere is it more difficult to preserve the balance of body and soul than in the beautiful but delicate dimension of human sexuality. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The first point to recognize is that we do not just identify our bodies with our souls, we identify our bodies with ourselves. We are not just a self with a body, our body is part of our self. 
My body is me. At the dinner table, we don't say, hey, would somebody pass my body the salad, please? I think my body would like another helping. No, we say, would somebody pass me the salad, please? I would like another helping. People sometimes think they can do what they want with their bodies as though their body is some external accessory that doesn't affect who they are, but it doesn't work like that. The way you treat another person's body is the way you treat that person. And the sexual acts you perform with your body will have deep, crucial implications for who you become as a person. That's why the church takes sexual activity very seriously, because the church takes you very seriously. And what you do with your body will play a major part in who you become forever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. As human beings, we are designed to communicate with each other and to express love through the body. We use mouths and ears to speak. We shake hands and embrace. We write and read all with our bodies. We don't have ESP. We can't mind read. The body is our only interface system to connect with other persons, which means if we misuse the body, if we use it selfishly or in a way that treats others as an object, we will turn the body into something that prevents or harms relationships instead of making them better. And this is above all true with human sexuality. Sexuality is the means to forming the most intimate relationships human life has to offer. It's at the heart of spousal love, and it's where every family comes from. So if you get sexuality wrong, you are throwing a monkey wrench into the gears of all the most important relationships God has planned for you. So there's a lot at stake here. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. One of the problems in our culture is that we've forgotten that we are built body and soul. We have immortal souls. We are not mere physical objects with sensors for pleasure or pain. We cannot simply do whatever we want with our bodies without affecting our souls. Our bodies are tied to our self-identity, and our bodies are tied to our ability to form and sustain relationships. In fact, identity and relationship, this is what is at stake. If we violate the structure of what we are as a human person, as an integration of body and soul, and if we live our sexuality badly, guess what you can expect to see? A crisis in a sense of identity and a crisis in a sense of relationship. Sound familiar? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Sin ruins everything, including the integration between our bodies and souls in the way we live our sexuality. But Christ has come to redeem everything human. And by redeeming humanity, he has in a way come to sanctify all of the universe represented by men and women. And when he redeemed the human person, he redeemed our sexuality. Through the vocations of marriage and celibacy, he has given us a way to live our sexuality so as to discover our true identities as sons and daughters of God and to integrate our bodies and our souls in a way that will lead us to God. But until we return to the Lord, we'll be a broken universe instead of the place where all creation comes together to glorify God. May God heal the union of our bodies and souls May he heal our wounded sexuality and may he sanctify us so that we can fulfill our mission in God's providential plan. Now, what might be a good resolution, a good takeaway from this meditation? To remember all day long that I am an integration of body and soul. Therefore, everything I do with my body affects my soul. And everything I do to the body of another person affects their soul. Let's keep that in mind today. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle. battle. Be, be our, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, I want to let you know that next Friday and Sunday, May 12th, 13th, and 14th, Dr. Troy Hinkle and I and Teresa <laughs> are going to be on the East Coast. Yeah, we're going to be in Baltimore and New York. Friday night, we're going to be hosting a rosary at a wonderful couple's house in Baltimore. Uh, and then Sunday morning, we are going to be in New York City, I think in Central Park. Yeah. For a rosary. I'm definitely going to be exciting, inviting some New York friends to that. So if you want to... Come and join us wherever you're at. Uh, hop on the train and uh, come and be us, be with us in one place or another. You can find uh, all the information on our website, schooloffaith.com, or on our app under events. So come and enjoy friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. We're not going to talk about what we just went over. Uh, is, is there something that strikes you? There's absolutely so much that strikes me. What strikes, if, if nothing strikes you from this content, I don't, I don't know what's going on in your head. What strikes you about this fact that we are not just a soul trapped in a machine, that we are the human person is an integration of body and soul? So much, but beginning with the fact that I feel like I know more and more people that don't love their souls and they don't love their bodies, but you have to love them together. Why do they not, do they not love their souls because they don't love their bodies? Why, 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 what's the fundamental reason that young people, this is a good question. What is the number one reason that young people, they don't love themselves? I don't think you could boil it down to one reason, but I would say that when we don't like our body, I think it comes from, to some degree, we don't feel like it reflects us and who we are and how we see ourselves if you you're you're worried that people will see you and think less of you because of your body and judge you based on your body which says that they won't understand your greatness by just seeing your body and we have that fear that instead that people will look past who we are and only see uh our our weight or our facial structure or uh, how the clothes that you're wearing, that they'll only see uh, your your hair and your eyes and they won't even give you a chance as a person, that they won't love you as a person because of what they see in your body. So what you're saying is that we've fallen into the trap of placing all, our identity and our value in either A, what our body looks like, or our achievements. Well, even worse, I think we see other people that way. I think that's what I mean. I think that's the greater damage. Genuinely, that we, when we look at others, we aren't trying to see the greatness of their soul. We do make those petty judgments and we, we make assumptions about a person. But the thing that comes to mind for me is that C.S. Lewis quote, that if, if you could see the greatness of a soul in heaven, what they will be like after everything is all said and done, what their soul is actually like in the presence of the glory of God, you would be tempted to fall down and worship them. But that we should be, when we look at a person, we should, in their body and in their eyes and in their face and their smile, we should be seeing that. But we're not even trying to glimpse that. And if we separate those two, 
then we can't love our bodies and we can't love other people. Wow, that's really well said. I'm actually very humbled by the way you just articulated that because I would say I fall into the trap all the time of placing value on people based on what I see absolutely by their physical appearance mm-hmm. or by what I uh, I think of their achievements or lack of achievements. Absolutely. I think, oh, uh, e- even I judge a lot by style. I care a lot about style. I put a lot of effort into how like interesting because I want my I want my style to reflect who I am to well, other then, people. Then you must really think lowly of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you have high priorities. I think you have better priorities than your closet. But Only I mean, because you know me. When I when I dress myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear a cross, but I'm also going to wear a leather jacket. So people can kind of gain an idea of what I care about and who I am. But when I see someone who's just wearing a t-shirt and jeans, I'm like, oh, this person must be boring. Hmm. They must not know themselves. But that's just not true. Because if you give people the chance for them to show you how amazing they are, they will shock you. They will really shock you. So two questions then. What should we do personally in order to see others correctly as people with immortal souls of infinite worth, what what can we practice to look at the person rather than their externals? And secondly, what should we do for ourselves so we see ourselves better? I think they're tied together. I think you start to love yourself and your body and your own identity the more you love others. And the more you pay others compliments, and compliments that go past nice shoes, you know, like truly try to see them and understand them, the more you see the beauty in others, the more you will realize that there is beauty in yourself and others will start to see it more in you genuinely. I think it's it's the gift that keeps on giving. But... What is what is our true identity? We we are the most beautiful creation of God. And why are we the most beautiful creation of God? We're like him. We are the only thing that is truly meant to be like him. We are meant to be like him. So the person you're talking to doesn't matter how boring you think they are or how boring they think they are or how boring uh, their their life might be in appearance there's no such thing as a mundane person or a boring person because they were made to be like god they are like god even if they've lost sight of it there's something in them that is incredible and can only be known about them and through them yeah our identity is that we are children of god the father called to become more and more like him Mm -hmm. That's our identity and our value. Not our physical appearance alone, not our achievements alone, not our relationships, not anything. Yeah. Not our ability to produce wealth or to have positions. Mm-hmm. It's that we we are children of God called to be like him. Yeah. And we need to love the people around us and let them know that even when they're not achieving anything and they they might be at the lowest place in their entire life, They could be addicted to drugs. They could be using everyone around them. They could be hurting people. But you have to be the one who looks at them and just loves them because they are who they are and give them the chance to turn around. Well, I think it starts that we've got to look at ourselves that way first. Mm -hmm. Because when I value myself, I will value others. When I don't value myself, I won't value others. And when we don't value ourselves, then we stop valuing others because we just want them to value us first. We we (laughs) want, it's so, it's it's cyclical. Because you're saying, I need it so bad, I can't even give you anything right now. So I'm not going to like you unless you like me enough. And that just turns people away. Uh Uh-huh. But, Absolutely. But if you love yourself because you value yourself as a as a child of God, mm-hmm. then all you want to do is value others. Yep. And you don't need them to give you affirmation. That's the biggest thing you don't you really don't need other people to affirm you. They should. It is it is right and just that people love you and affirm you. But you shouldn't need that. At the end of the day, as cold as it can sound sometimes, God's love should be enough. 
And just the awareness of the fact that you came from his love and that you can love others better than they can love you. I'm always amazed with people that I have conversations with. At the end of the conversation, I've I've said, well, I don't really know. I didn't get to learn anything about them. They were just interested in me. Uh Uh-huh. And that's the way we should be with others. Absolutely. I, if you're ever socially anxious, just with all the people around you, sit down and say, I just, how can I know this person better? Anything you're curious about the person, just ask them, just try. I, I think that would be my resolution. Every person around you, just try to understand them better. Get to know them with your questions. Don't just try to spend time with them because you need to spend time with someone or because they're there and it's like entertaining to you, try to know them better. Yeah. To be known and to be loved is our objective with others. To know and love. We need that. And that's why I always like to say that we should be apostles of delight. Yeah. Seek out and to find and to know the goodness of others and delight in it. Mm. Wow. You you have a (laughs) profound way of understanding these meditations. I'm glad we didn't pass up on the opportunity to talk about that. You're just going to shut it off. (laughs) I will not let a conversation go unsaid. Thanks be to God. Let's be apostles of friendship. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below. 